Alrighty, so I'm gonna be calling an audible on this one. <laughs> um, so this one technically I wasn't supposed to talk about or I wasn't going to share my thoughts on um, Dieter F. Uchtdorf's um, talk, um, A Higher Joy, until tomorrow, but I kind of felt like I need to go through his talk today and share some of my thoughts. Um, Elder Uchtdorf talks about how it is that we can find a higher joy. He talks about how there are many things in this life that we are given by a loving Heavenly Father to help us find happiness. And these are things that can be like the things outdoors, the activities we enjoy doing, the people we enjoy spending time with, and the activities we do with them. But the reason why we share the gospel of Jesus Christ is because we know that there is a higher and more overwhelming joy that we can feel. And I want to kind of share going off of one of the points that he made in his talk that has really helped me to find joy and find this higher joy. And Elder Uchtdorf mentions like we need to come unto Christ to find that joy. And for me, I'm going to be a little vulnerable, is for a long time, I did not want to come unto Christ. We were always promised and told to go into church. It's like, if you read your scriptures, if you pray, and if you go to church and really kind of be a active participant, that you'll be able to find joy. And I'm like, no, but I did those things, but I didn't do it with the intent to come unto Christ. I didn't want to go up to him because of mistakes that I was making, or I just personally felt unworthy to be near him. And so even though I was doing good things, I was not wanting to draw near unto him. There are things where I had to overcome things that I'm still trying to get through. But the thing is, it's like, I've changed in that I want to be closer to the Savior. Because despite the mistakes that I continually make, even if it's the same one time and time again, if I go to him wanting to be near him, I truly feel his spirit come to me, even if it's right after I do a foolish thing something that should drive the spirit out. I feel his spirit come closer to me in those moments when I go to him and tell him I'm sorry, or when I end up needing more strength and I ask him, I need, I need help, I need your strength. I feel his spirit come to me and empower me in comfort and forgiveness and we shouldn't be afraid to come unto Christ. No matter what it is, no matter how deep you think you've sinned or how many sins you feel like you've committed, Jesus Christ is someone who understands the hurt, who understands the struggle. And I can truly tell you that when you choose to go to him in prayer, and when you choose to go to the scriptures to find the joy that he testifies of, that he taught of, and the things that he tells us to do so we can magnify that joy through righteous living, through covenants, I can promise you, you will find the forgiveness that you're looking for, you'll find the strength that you're looking for, and you'll find the comfort that you're looking for. I promise you won't feel alone when you go to him. Even when you feel like you're one person that doesn't deserve to be recognized by the Son of God. He knows you personally. He knows you by name. And he will make himself known unto you if you are willing to go to him 
and confess everything that you need help with, that you need him for. I know that there are some who believe that this desire can only truly come from God, but that's not the case. You can choose to have this desire for yourself. And I know that Heavenly Father wants you to act on that desire for yourself. He can't force you. He can't force you to want to repent. He can't force you to want to be close to God. It has to be your choice. But I can truly tell you the joy that I feel in my life because I'm trying to be closer to Jesus Christ and to live a life similar to what he lived, as imperfect as I am, my joy has been magnified. I still have ups and downs, but he helps me get through them, and I am so grateful for it. And I can tell you that you will be too. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.